for today's cook, I am taking this beautiful export rib and dry age it in two different ways. As you can see, it is a USDA choice and I got it from the Riviere Cattle Company. The first and most important thing to do when dry aging is to keep everything clean. You could use a cutting board, but for me, it's much better using aluminum foil. I recommend using gloves always. After opening the packaging, the first thing to do is split it in half. As you can see, even though this is choice, the marbling is still wonderful. The next step is to wrap this piece in cheesecloth. Now, it is important to go several times around. Once I was done, this is what it looks like. The very next step was to put it on a tray so that I don't make a big mess. The next step was to pour all the whiskey on top of it. The key here is to get it as wet as we can. So just in case you are wondering how much I used, I used half a bottle of Maker's Mark and the other half of Jack Daniels. In total, was a complete bottle of whiskey. To complete my dry aging experiment, I am using the Umai Dry Bags. This is a special bag. Umai Dry actually calls them a membrane. Now for what I'm doing, this experiment is definitely not recommended by Umai. And the reason being is because you want the meat to stick to the bag. And the only way to do that is to ensure that the meat has contact with the membrane. And it is also important to keep the meat wet. But since I added the cheesecloth and the whiskey, I am not quite sure what will happen. But I am running this experiment anyway because I have a feeling it will work just fine. Right after, I put it directly inside of the Umai bag. The Umai dry bags comes with special fabric so that you can suck all the air out. Right after I fold the edges and put it on a cooling rack so the air can circulate all the way around in my refrigerator. For the other half, it's pretty straightforward. All I had to do is follow the same exact step, but the right way. As you can see, there's no cheesecloth. As I mentioned before, you can clearly see that the Umai bag did not stick to the meat. And that's 100% because of the cheesecloth. Right at this point, I was not sure if this was going to work. Now that I have both of my meats ready, there's nothing else to do but to let it dry age in my regular refrigerator for 35 days. Once the 35 days was over, I quickly opened it up. And to my surprise, as soon as I opened it up, that wonderful smell just hit me right on the face. And it smelled like wonderful, freshly baked bread. And everyone in my house said the same exact thing. It smells just like bread. It seems like the fermentation of the whiskey went into the meat and fermented some way, somehow, and it smelled like bread. I'm gonna let you guys hear the actual audio from the video that I took from the camera. This audio is not perfect, but it will give you the reaction that we have. Check it out oh my god it smells like bread it smells like bread right after i decided to open the real dry aged one as you can see perfectly dry aged and it has that nice nutty smell i know for a lot of people that never experienced dry age it looked bad and horrible but for me that i've done it several times this is what you're expecting this is what you waited so long for and it's perfection then it was time for the whiskey i quickly removed all the cheesecloth and to my surprise it looked amazing here's the actual audio from the video wow it worked like a charm wow Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, look at it. Oh my God, <laughs> it worked. Wow, yes, yes, yeah. As you can see, I was super pumped because I saw this. And here's one next to the other. The whiskey dry age on the left and the real dry age on the right. Both perfection. The only difference between them right now is that the left one smells like bread and like freshly baked bread. Then the next step was to find out what was inside. I quickly opened the whiskey dry aged one and to my surprise, this is what it looked like. And for comparison, I opened up the real dry aged one. As expected, just absolutely perfect. When I put one next to the other, you can really see the difference between them. The whiskey penetrated almost the entire cap. Right after, I quickly trimmed them up, French the bones so we can make some beautiful cowboy steaks. I decided to tie it so that it would not fall apart on the grill. To ensure I'm cooking both steaks at the exact same temperature, I'm using my wireless thermometer. Then I lightly seasoned them with salt and pepper. Now that we have these beautiful steaks ready, one dry aged for real and the other one on whiskey, I am excited to find out how they taste. But I say it is enough talking and it's time to cook them. So let's do it.
All right, everybody, we have our beautiful steaks over here. They look gorgeous. What do you think, Angel? I want to eat. I know, me too. <laughs> they smell incredible, and you can see how juicy it is. A lot of people have the misconception because it's dry age. They think it's not going to be juicy. Oh, oh no, it's oh, always juicy. Oh, it's juicy. It's juicy. <laughs> All right, Angel, so we have two beautiful steaks here. I say we'll go. go for this one here first, Let's and uh, we see how it tastes. Perfectly cooked. Way? Here. Out. Coming over Split in half. Oh, you're just going to go for it? I got a knife this time. Oh, you got a knife. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Let's go for it. Cheers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> that one is amazing. All the way. That one is going to be hard to beat. It just started raining right now. Can you believe it? Guys, I'm sorry if you're hearing the rain. I apologize. But, you know, I couldn't wait for another day to cook these beautiful steaks. That one was incredible. Do you agree? You eating it again? <laughs> Are you ready for the second one, Angel? Let's go. I want to know if it's as good or if there's a difference or anything like that. I'm very curious. Cheers, buddy. Oh, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. There is a difference. Oh, there's definitely a difference. <laughs> Is that the maker's mark? Yeah. You put that on everything, bro. <laughs> oh, you can tell the difference, everybody. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that results. Man. So what did, what'd you do to it? You just drowned it in maker's mark? This is the one that it was dry age in um, Maker's Mark in Whiskey Angel. And this one is dry age regular. Oh, it's dry age. Yeah, dry age in whiskey and dry age in regular. I really can, you, can you do that with any alcohol? I think we can. We just have proven that it actually works. Now, here's the question. Tequila. Ooh, tequila sounds amazing. Before we start, start talking about all different ideas that we might have, we have to explain the flavor to everybody. It tastes dry age with Maker's Mark. It does. Guys, I didn't think this was going to work. I thought this was going to be pretty much the same exact thing, but it is not. It is different. It tastes different and you can taste the alcohol. Oh. So, wow, I'm actually quite surprised in a very good way, not in a bad way. It tastes different. Does it taste better than this steak? I don't think it tastes better than that steak. I think it's just a unique flavor. What do I you think, think? You know what I think? Yeah. I think if you would have used a vodka, let's say, it probably would have tasted normal, like a regular so? dry age. I think this is our next experiment. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think that you just say that because you want to eat more steak. <laughs> I think it's I think it's just time to get drunk on this channel. <laughs> no, 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 keep, no, no, you no. You keep playing with it. You keep playing with fire. We did a little shot out of the bone. You yeah, know? I see it's where you're going with this. wasted I on Google Foods. <laughs> that, it is time. No, no, no. We don't do that. <laughs> We do real give experiments. Us, give us a few likes <laughs> and comments if you want to see Guga drunk of like three, three or four shots. They don't want to see that's that. That's it takes, right? Three or four shots. No, three. maybe just one shot. Maybe just enough. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I I'm not like, going to say that it's better. It is not better than this steak. I do like them both. It's different. I agree it's with you. It's still very soft. It's different taste. And you can feel a little bit of that alcohol. It's kind of weirdish in a good way different than i'm used to it's worth giving it a shot it is not better oh. than the regular steak but it is different if you had to pick one angel which one you like best you like the regular dry age uh -huh. i agree with you but this one is unique mm -hmm. it's good it's unique but the regular dry age is there's, better there's a lot of things that are what you're in the mood for i agree because if i'm drinking while eating and they give me this steak and I have... If you're drinking while eating, you will eat anything. It doesn't matter what it is. You just eat like even corn by itself is going to taste amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, why are you throwing me under the bus? There you go, everybody. These are the results. I'm quite surprised. I have to be honest with you. When I started this experiment, I really did not think that it was going to do anything. And your refrigerator smells horrible. Oh, Angel. 
It smells Bro. horrible for quite some time. It's not smell like bad for one day, two days. It smells bad for a little bit because it's so Time out, time strong. out. <laughs> Tell me. Time out. I want to reminisce on the day that I came in here. <laughs> and Gua goes, Angel, can you get me a little bit of orange juice? And I go, all right, I'll get you some orange juice. I go, when I open the refrigerator and all I smell is how drunk I am now. <laughs> It punches Bro, you in the face. I opened it and just off a whiff, I was gone. I think it was a good experiment. It was something unique. I enjoy the steak. It's not like it's a bad steak. It's a no, different it's kind of steak. I like it. The dry age is better, but at the same time, it's something different and unique. And if you are willing to give something new a try, yeah. it's good. It's Very good. Nice. It's not bad. So what's next? Tequila. <laughs> We gotta make sure. Let's let's test my theory. I think vodka will make it taste exactly like this. Guys, if you guys want to see more alcohol dry age, put it on the comments down below. I might do some more experiment to find out if you can play with different flavors on the steak because this I consider a success. You agree? I think it's great, man. I agree. Look, I, I just had another piece right now, and it's just they're both really. It's just good. as good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I've been using this, you know, like, like a arm holder. <laughs> I feel like Jon Snow right now. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. You guys I watch Game of Thrones? Yes, it's coming up! Oh, oh, I think by the time this video is up, winter will up. be here. Winter versus fire. Oh, I what? have an idea. What? I have an idea. What? There's Speak. A, there's a, there's a new whiskey or, mm. or yeah, I think it is whiskey mm. and it's called White Walker. Ah. But it's not, <laughs> but it's, it's Walker. It's, I don't uh, know if you guys can tell we are big <laughs> Game of Thrones fan. <laughs> And if you are to comment down below, we gotta make some Game of Thrones experiments. Mm. Oh, I like that. Game of Thrones experiment. Thank you for watching. Oh, that one is so good. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.